In comparing John Morial's The Justifiability of Civil Disobedience and Herbert J. Storing's The Case Against Civil Disobedience, the definition of civil disobedience is completely turned on its head and criticized, as it should be, and rightfully so. It is questioned as being outdated as well as being too close-minded to notions of violence, notions that comparatively add relevance to the subject. In seeing the documentary about the weathermen in class, we were able to see these ideals put into place and the results that that group achieved. In congruency to reading both articles, this is my analysis. I'll start with Storing's article, The Case Against Civil Disobedience, because the article lays heavily on the history of the civil rights movement and Martha Luther King Jr.'s work. He sheds light on the common misconception of nonviolent resistance and civil disobedience. The misconception being the difference between now the difference being the appeal to the government and use of the law. The main critique comes from the idea of loving the law. I don't believe that anyone should show contempt for laws that, as Martin Luther King would say, are unjust and meet these laws with justice. Uh, the example given in the article is that you wouldn't be brutally honest with a woman in anticipation for receiving a slap showing love for her you know what I mean you just you wouldn't show love for someone like that <clears throat> this brings me to one of Moriel's arguments the argument that violence is in fact justifiable he contests that if violence is ruled out because it affects people's rights to their own bodies and will cause harm then that doesn't make sense because civil disobedience violates other prima facie rights like right to property right to products of work so then civil disobedience is violent. Civil disobedience is almost never nonviolent, especially in examples of trespassing and the fact that uh, civil disobedience go out for a coercion of force over coercion of persuasion. Sometimes. Another argument that Storin makes is that civil disobedience is outdated and no longer relevant to our lives. I would say this is extremely accurate in our day and age because we are being watched more closely by the powers that oppress us and these powers are now masters and making things go away or distorting information. Almost always met by force, it makes no sense to be civil disobedient. I say almost because I do believe that in our day and age there is room for civil disobedience. Uh, an example could be someone like Dr. Kevorkian someone with a clear a clear part of the law that they want to change and someone who's totally committed and morally serious uh, oh also not taking action is also violent because you're allowing for uh, evil an evil to happen and it's argued that you can be civil disobedient as long as that is in place of something less evil or something more evil <laughs> Things you see uh, two negatives don't make a positive. Point, two negatives do make a positive. You see shit, it's like so if someone meets you negatively, you should meet them negatively back to positive result. It's like a struggle sometimes!